Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Policarpal i16 and we're looking at the cold start now some people have been having a devilish problem trying to get this thing started so we're going to go through it now and hope we clear everything up so um, note how the our natural position is quite high up so we may have to bend our head down a bit or we could uh, raise our seat up and down how, however we want to do that so i'm going to bend down here i'm going to go switches on you've got battery bypass radio next we're going to go to the fuel cutoff i want to have the open which is ironically ironically in next is the fuel primer pressure pump which is this little chap down here so the way we have to do this is we first have to turn it fully anti-clockwise kind of left and you can do that by left click and drag or you can do it by hovering your mouse over it and going uh, mouse scroll wheel until it's fully turned anti-clockwise then we need to pull it now on some people's machines you can pull it by left clicking that doesn't work for me or right clicking that doesn't work for me so for me what I've had to do is go in here and I bound this to it primary fuel pump pull and I've set it to the A key and regards the turning clockwise and anti-clockwise if you can't do that for some reason with the mouse scroll wheel then you've got the keys here that you can set to it okay and you have to uh, pull it uh, and I quote several times according to the manual so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that sounds like several to me then don't forget to shut it and uh, sorry clockwise after you're done so it doesn't uh, pull by accident next we need to use what they call the primary fuel switch or in the manual the filling system switch this i don't really know what this does but i think this is the the other end of the primer this builds up the pressure in the fuel and this tells the uh, the the engine it where to actually apply that fuel uh, in terms of priming and we think that there is the cylinder head or something to do with the top of the engine we can't quite get the uh, conversion and that we think is the lower part of the engine correct me if i'm wrong we don't really know what we do know is we need to move turn the switch with left click so that it's in that mode there for two to three seconds and in that mode there for two to three seconds and then back up to neutral at the top so zero one two and a half zero one two and a half put it up and what we want to check now is our fuel pressure which is this guy here and make sure it's around about one or just above one and you can see it's just above one next our magneto switch and we want it from neutral not one not two but one plus two or one and two and we use that with a right mouse click next is the mixture and we want it to quote normal setting unquote uh, so i still don't really understand this lever i don't know which is lean i don't know which is rich and i don't know if normal's in the middle but everyone i've spoken to says this knob needs to be fully forward in terms of the mixture for it to start so i'm just going to go with them for that and then it will be left in that position uh, for flight Okay, next is the RPM lever, and it wants to be put to MCP, it says in the manual. We don't know what that means, but from everything we've seen, it wants to be fully forward. Next is the engine cowls, and we want them open. So it's, uh, which lever is it? It's this one here. It wants to be fully forward like thus. We're going to leave the oil cowl radiators closed, presumably so that the oil can warm up quickly, and then we can open them when required later on. Next, we actually start the engine. I'm just going to have to move my head down a bit down here. There is that guy there. Now, you pull it out with right click and you push it in with left click. It says in the manual to pull it out for 7 to 8 seconds if it's summer or 9 to 10 seconds if it's winter. And then once you've pulled it out, you then push it in until the engine is fully started. We've done some testing and we've found that just the best way to start this aircraft is to pull it out for 15 seconds just to make sure and then push it in and then push it in. And we've never had any troubles with doing that so pull and hold with right click two three four five and six and seven and eight and nine ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen and fourteen and fifteen and push and hold oh, hey and you have to be quite accurate with that 15 seconds we found and close our door i can find it ping now the only other thing is the oxygen system if we're going to be going above 4000 meters asl we should have our oxygen system turned on this again caused a bit of confusion what we know is that we have to turn the system on with this guy here scroll wheel until it's fully turned counterclockwise that's the system turned on essentially then it says in the manual we have to check the here what we call the manometer which appears to be a pressure gauge matches with our current actual aircraft altitude well we've got no way of doing that because this is like kilograms per centimeter squared you know so i've got no way of actually reading that 
and um, it says in the manual if this does not match the altitude outside then we're to use this guy here with the mouse scroll wheel to correct it that doesn't seem to do anything so in that case if this isn't working it says in the manual use the emergency override which is here I like to left click and drag for this and we can adjust and this dial here is the flow rate so I like to adjust until I've got about medium flow rate about eight whatever that is uh, in terms of units and that's the only way I found to ensure that the uh, oxygen system is on at the moment I'm sure that'll be changed at some point that's the running bird okay so the only other thing we need to show is that we need to leave the board uh, bird like the other warbirds to warm up so we've got that oil temperature gauge here currently about uh, whatever it is about 20 degrees uh, centigrade and it needs to be at least 50 before we start running the engine hard and uh, we've also got our exhaust temperature here we want to make sure we don't uh, sorry where is it yes it's here make sure we don't go above about 210 degrees there so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hold our the tow brakes on the uh, the brakes i'm going to accelerate to an rpm of about 1100 here Okay, and we're going to let that warm up. So I'm just going to skip time now. Okay, that's it. That's the bird warmed up, and we're ready to go. I hope that helps, and see you later.